Hi everyone, Sevak Belian here from the Armenian National Committee of Canada. Hope you're doing well. Uh, joining you today to provide some updates on the latest developments that have been front and center in our advocacy agenda. Uh, over the last few weeks and months, we have been tirelessly uh, working to engage members of parliament and officials from all levels and branches of government uh, to address some of the most important uh, post-war challenges uh, currently facing Armenia and Artsakh. Whether that may be humanitarian aid uh, to Armenia, uh, addressing the urgent need for the safe return of Armenian prisoners of war, uh, safeguarding cultural heritage uh, currently under Azerbaijani occupation, and last but not least, ensuring that the Canadian government continues to advocate for the full re-engagement of the OSCE Minsk Group uh, to find a lasting and fair solution to the conflict in Artsakh, based on the rightful demands of the Armenian people to live freely and independently on their ancestral lands. But today I wanted to take time to uh, more specifically update you on what's happening uh, regarding the ongoing investigation into the illegal use of the Westcam target acquisition sensors uh, by Azerbaijan. Uh, of course, a lot of you are uh, very well aware of what happened and um, through your efforts, uh, we were able to get the Canadian government to suspend those permits in October, but of course our efforts did not end there. Um, later, towards the end of October, uh, as you know, the Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs and International Development uh, called for a uh, parliamentary inquiry, a committee inquiry, into, uh, into this uh, uh, incident uh, to find out how these exemptions were made in the first place and to make sure that government is held accountable uh, for uh, this reckless de decision that, however, unwittingly and indirectly, uh, but unfortunately made the Canadian government complicit in uh, what Azerbaijan uh, did during the war. Uh, a couple of weeks ago on uh, March 12th, uh, the uh, Committee on Foreign Affairs uh, released uh, a cache of heavily redacted documents provided to them by Global Affairs Canada. Um, and despite the redactions, uh, there were uh, a lot of information, important information uh, that uh, we were able to find out, uh, some of which were obviously quite damning. And uh, those were the pieces of information that we publicized piece by piece uh, last week uh, and the week before on our social media platforms. Um, for example, now we know that the exemption in May 2020 was naively given based on uh, immense Turkish pressure or as a result of immense Turkish lobbying, uh, claiming that they were going to be using uh, those cameras uh, or the drones equipped with the Canadian target acquisition sensors um, to uh, protect uh, civilians and to use it for humanitarian purposes uh, in the conflict in Syria. Uh, unfortunately, our, our, our government uh, had naively given in to these pressures, uh, taking uh, the word of the Turkish officials and giving those exemptions. We also found out how uh, Turkey uh, was, was, quite frankly, trying to strong-arm Canadian officials into um, uh, giving these exemptions and then blaming them for uh, the suspensions and threatening that they might not uh, support Canada for um, the candidacy of former Minister Bill Morneau uh, to the Secretary General position at the OECD. Uh, we also found out that apart from the Westcam uh, exemptions, uh, three other exemptions were given uh, to an Ontario-based company called Telemus Incorporated um, to ship uh, electronic receiver components to the Turkish aerospace industries. Uh, and we also found out that uh, Westcam officials themselves um, more or less confirmed that the downed uh, drones and the sensors that were downed with them, obviously, did correspond with their serial numbers and with some of, uh, with some of their shipments that they had made to Turkey. Um, aside from all of this, more reporting came out in the Global Mail by uh, Stephen Chase. Uh, and he also provided uh, irrefutable evidence once more uh, that fully confirms that, yes, indeed, the Westcam target acquisition sensors were being illegally used 
uh, by Azerbaijan uh, against Artsakh. Now, um, pressure is up, uh, and the opposition parties are also questioning um, uh, the government on this issue. Last week, uh, last Wednesday, namely, uh, the foreign affairs critic from the Conservative Party of Canada, uh, the Honorable Michael Chong, questioned uh, the Prime Minister on this issue, uh, asking if the government commits to ensuring that this mistake does not happen again. Unfortunately, we did not get uh, straight answers, uh, but we have to continue our work. We have to keep up the pressure to ensure that the government releases the results for the investigation uh, and moves to enforce a full ban on arms sales to Turkey and Azerbaijan. For that, uh, we're asking you to click the link uh, in the uh, in the in the ca in the caption of this video, uh, and continue asking uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Mark Garneau, to immediately release the results of the inv of the investigation and uphold the suspensions and move to enforce a full ban on Turkey and Azerbaijan. Uh, needless to say, that this issue has been uh, has has seized uh, all of us. Uh, it's it's very important that we ensure uh, that um, Turkey and Azerbaijan do not get uh, Canadian manufactured uh, armaments, uh, because quite frankly and ultimately, our our main goal is uh, to ensure the safety and security of our compatriots in uh, Armenia and Artsakh, but also to ensure that, however indirectly, uh, Canada does not become complicit in the crimes committed by Turkey and Azerbaijan. We have to, as always, we have to work together to, uh, to raise our voice, raise awareness, and ensure that the government hears us loud and clear that this is, of course, a red line for the Armenian Canadian community. We do not want Canadian arms to be used by Turkey and Azerbaijan. And we have to do all that we can together to ensure that the government listens to us and uh, refrains from making such mistakes uh, in the in the future. So click the link in this caption and take a minute or two uh, to send a pre-written message to the Honorable Mark Garneau asking him to release the results of the investigation, uphold the suspensions, and move to enforce a full ban on arms sales to Turkey and Azerbaijan. Share it with your friends, share it on social media, and if you'd like to put your own personal note in there, feel free to do that politely asking the minister to move on these key policy priorities. Thank you, and we will join you in the near future with more updates, hopefully on this issue and other issues as well. But let's continue working together. Let's continue keeping up the pressure, and hopefully we will get to our desired results together. Thank you very much for your support.